Yo guys, what is up? C Ray back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how you can get a bigger chest completely from home and the tips and the tricks that I used to grow my chest without any weights, just using my body weight. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so my first tip is really underrated and that is to work on your posture. So a lot of people tend to slouch over like this and this gives the impression that you have a smaller chest. What you wanna do guys is really work on that posture and I'm gonna show you some examples right now of exercises that you can do to work on your posture so that it brings out your chest a lot more and you get the impression and you give the impression to people that you have a bigger chest. And that is one of the keys guys and it goes under the radar quite a lot because if you're slouched over, you're just gonna look a lot smaller. Whereas if you puff that chest out, bring those shoulders and retract them back, just the simple change of going from this guys to this gives the impression that you have a bigger chest. And so this is my first point and this can easily be fixed at home and you can work on that posture, making it seem like you have a bigger chest without even going on to exercises that grow the muscle. Some of you guys might even have the chest muscle there, but because your posture is a lot more crooked and bent over, you can't actually see that you have a bigger chest. So one of the most important things that I'd recommend for you guys to have a bigger chest is to make sure that you work on that posture because it is so important and I wanna make sure that you guys know about it. So that is the first point. Okay guys, so the next way that you can get a bigger chest is to make sure that you're focusing on the upper portion of the chest, which often gets neglected, especially with bodyweight training and calisthenics, because it is very hard to actually target that upper chest, but I'm gonna show you a few exercises that you can do in order to make sure that you're really hitting that upper chest and those upper chest fibers, because it's quite hard to actually target them with normal pushing exercises compared to lifting weights for example because you can literally put the weight in any position but it's quite difficult to put your body in any position especially if you're a beginner and if you're a beginner wanting to make your chest look bigger but there are definitely a few exercises that you guys can do such as pike push-ups and changing the way your hand placement is on the pike push-ups is such a good way to target that upper chest area you can get in almost like a diamond push-up position but in a pike push-up position and this will target the upper chest a lot more than many other exercises in bodyweight training but ultimately it is going to be a lot harder to grow the upper chest with your body weight in comparison to weights so i guess that's a little negative of bodyweight training but do not worry because it is definitely possible and i even did it when it comes to body weight training and growing the upper chest a lot of it is to do with that mind muscle connection guys you've got to be thinking of contracting that upper chest on each rep that you do, whether that's pike push-ups, whether that's handstand push-ups for instance, or any other variation that is gonna target that upper chest, you have to be thinking about working those upper chest muscle fibers as best as you can, and this is gonna give you the best chance in growing it. Okay, so since we've started off with the upper chest, we're just gonna move down in stages, so the upper, the mid, and the lower. And the best thing that you guys can do for the mid chest area is definitely, without a doubt, gonna be suedo planche push-ups. And I pretty much do suedo planche push-ups in most videos that I put online and that is for a reason And it is because it is one of the best exercises to grow that mid chest area and the overall chest area And you also get that activation on the shoulders too Which is also going to increase that shoulder size and that shoulder strength So make sure you're definitely including suedo planche push-ups if you can and if you can't quite do them yet Then definitely make sure that you're doing suedo planche leans just holding that position for as long as you can and then gradually you can do negatives and then eventually you can get to the full suedo planche push-up which is going to be so beneficial for growing that mid chest area the overall chest area and also hitting those shoulders as well to make you just look bigger in general guys so definitely recommended and make sure that you're definitely adding that to your workout routine there is really no other exercise like suedo planche push-ups and so you must be working towards it at the very least if you're a beginner starting calisthenics because it's also going to lead you into more advanced advanced exercises which is overall going to increase that chest growth and that chest strength. Working on suedo planche push-ups is eventually going to get you onto learning the planche and other variations of the planche and even transitions that you can do in the future that include the planche you can also work towards if you master suedo planche push-ups. Okay so now let's move on to the lower chest portion and the best exercise that you should be doing if you don't already know is going to be 
dips. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't have any dip bars or any parallettes to be able to do the dips at home. So how am I gonna grow that lower chest area without dip bars? Well, that is where chairs will come in handy. Most of you guys will have access to chairs. I'm pretty sure, I hope you do. And what you can do guys is just use two chairs either side of each other and just do dips that way. And this is gonna target that lower chest area. And all you wanna do with this is lean a bit more forward. So you're really targeting that lower chest. Don't come up too much because it's gonna be hitting more of your triceps. Try to come over, bend a little bit and focus on activating that lower chest area and those lower chest muscle fibers. And also make sure that you're tucking those elbows, guys. And if you can't quite do dips yet, especially on chairs or just normal dips in general, then you can use your feet to take off some of that weight so that you can still perform them, but you're just lowering the weight a bit and using your legs as a progression in order to get towards the full dips on chairs or on parallettes or dip bars. Okay, so those are the main exercises that you must be doing if you're trying to grow all areas of your chest and make it seem bigger. But there are also a few bonus exercises, so make sure that you're paying attention because these are actually really underrated and I definitely recommend adding them into your routine if you can. Okay, so the first bonus exercise is gonna target that upper chest area. And there's not a lot of people that I see doing this exercise, but I do incorporate it from time to time if I really wanna target that upper chest area. And that is gonna be the side to side squeezing push-ups. And all you wanna do with these guys, get in a normal push-up position, but as you come to the top of the rep, you wanna to turn to one side, and this is really gonna squeeze that upper chest area, and you're really, really gonna feel this, guys. So make sure you try this out, because you're gonna notice a lot of difference. You're gonna feel it a lot more in that upper chest area. And doing this exercise almost simulates doing some variation of chest flies, because with the upper chest fibers, I'll try and get a picture up for you now. You're going in this position right here, and you're focusing on bringing the weight or your body in this sort of position with the flies, guys. But it's very hard to do flies when you do bodyweight training. But this is actually a great bodyweight alternative that you can use to simulate doing flies in the gym or just anywhere where there's weights. Another great exercise that you can do to target the upper chest and make it seem a lot bigger is to do iguana push-ups. And you guys might not have even heard of them and it does have a little bit of a funny name, but honestly guys, these are so, so good for getting that upper chest area and also even just the mid chest area. All you wanna do with this is have a parallel if you do have one. And if you don't have parallettes, you can do another variation which is very similar to iguana push-ups. And this is gonna be using a chair or a sofa and just getting in that incline push-up position, pushing up and trying to touch your two pinkies together like this. And this is also gonna squeeze that upper chest area and you're gonna feel this too. So if you don't have parallettes, then definitely do the chair version. But if you do have parallettes, make sure that you're doing iguana push-ups. And you can see in this video here that it's really, really contracting all my upper chest fibers a lot. And it's such a good exercise for making that chest pop. And just like most other exercises, as always, you can use your knees if you can't quite do it with your feet yet and if you're at a beginner level. So make sure you're testing it out with your knees if you're a beginner and you're struggling to do the normal version. Eventually you'll get to the normal version guys, so do not beat yourself up and do not worry. It takes time to perfect these exercises guys, so don't get yourself too down in the dumps. So make sure you're taking advantage of the easier progressions, whether that's with knees, or even just resistance bands, and do not fret because you're gonna get there eventually, especially if you stick around on this channel. I can guarantee that. Anyway guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you found some value in this video and discovered some exercises that you didn't actually know existed because I tried to include ones that you probably didn't know about that actually are really effective for growing that upper chest and your overall chest to make it seem bigger and also stronger. And one more thing, I just wanna say, Thank you so much for 25,000 subscribers. I cannot believe that we're at this number already. Just last week, we were literally on about 6,000, maybe even like 8,000, and now we're on 25, which is incredible. I appreciate every single one of you guys, and I love all your supportive comments, and I love the fact that we're such a great community helping each other every day, and that is what I wanna create, especially on YouTube, and just my social media presence in general. We wanna be helping each other in body weight and calisthenics training so we, that we can become the best versions that we can possibly be. If you did enjoy the video, guys, 
guys make sure to like and also don't forget to subscribe because we're trying to hit 30k and we might even be on it by the time that I post this um, so if we are then let's go for 35 but anyway guys love every single one of you again and I'll see you in the next one peace